Greetings, everyone. It's a lovely day in uh, the summer of 2023, right. and Bob is here to give an update on his condition. So sit back and let's see what's going on with him. I have a taxia which affects just one part of my brain, my cerebellum. It affects my speech, of course, coordination, and my balance. They think mine is genetic. It does not affect my thinking. They expect it to get worse. But in my correspondence with a guy in Florida who has the same thing, he is 76, he still gets around to the walker. So when I heard that, I thought, I can do that. That's right. So right now, I can still walk a mile every morning. If you see me on the street, I look drunk. <laughs> I walk slow, and I stumble a bit. I stopped doing videos because I thought I sounded awful. You sound, you sound darn good today, Bob. Uh, I'm telling you. But no, really, you know, his mind is there and... Of course, I always wondered if it was there before. <laughs> That's true. Agreed. So we will talk about my replacement mic at the end of the video. Uh, so, Bob, I don't know if I want to just clarify sure. some of that technical. So with Bob's ataxia, it affects the cerebellum, which is your coordination in your body. Uh, and then with him, it's his speech, his balance. Um, and um, the, I have trouble writing. Writing, right. I can, I can type, but right. I never could. You know, but as far as uh, the Bob and Brad show and our whole business, he has always been the leader of the ship. He's steering the ship, and he still is. He's given us excellent guidance. So uh, he's always sitting back there. We're uh, looking up to him and his guidance, and we're ready to go. So, Bob, what do you say? So I want to discuss three things that help me get through this. Okay. So number one, I have three children, two girls and a boy. So they have a ringside seat to what I'm going through. They're watching me very closely to see how I handle this. It's the best lesson in life I can teach them. They will have challenges, everyone does. So this is a great opportunity to teach them one of our life's hard lessons. Number two, my daughter was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer, when she was 23. She's now 31 and cancer-free. Her best compliment to me when she was going through chemo was, she said, I don't worry about the cancer because I know you will do the worrying for me. And I did. <laughs> so I, I would go through what I have a hundred times over rather than go through another one of my children with cancer. Number three, I'm so thankful for all the blessings of my life, including all of you. Thank you for your well wishes and prayers. Anything else, Fred? <laughs> it's hard to follow up with that. Bob is okay. doing an excellent job. We, you know, Bob is a family man. Uh, he's everyone here knows that. And if your family has a problem, you have all the time off of work you need to take care of your family. That's when right. When it comes to work, you got to get your work done. That's right. <laughs> Crack the whip. All right, so with Bob's complications with his speech, we talked about who can replace him. Uh, obviously a big decision, but it wasn't so hard because we had an employee and a friend who's been working with us together for the last 10 or 12 years. 
It's Mike. He's a physical therapist assistant. He has worked with both of us in the clinic with patients hand in hand for over a decade. And then when we started the pro or the uh, video channel, he started working us in the background. He knows what we are doing. He understands things, and, and he's the, the guy. Podcast. Oh, and the podcast that we've been working on. He is right on with that. He's doing an excellent job with that. And so he's got some big shoes to fill, and he's doing an excellent job. Mike, can you tell everyone a little bit more about yourself? Well, you took all my talking points away from me. <laughs> ah, so. there's, there's a lot there more. <laughs> uh, I started working for them in 2012. I had an internship, and later on they ended up hiring me, probably against Bob's wishes, but it <laughs> happened anyway. And in 2019, I started working uh, on YouTube with them. I had some video editing experience, and one of our coworkers was off for a prolonged period of time. So I came in, and one thing led to another, and here I am, I guess. What do you mean, you guess? You uh, are here. <laughs> here, here. Yes, yes. So uh, give Mike some encouragement and tell him, you know, he's doing a nice job. There is an issue. We've got this high voice, but I'm thinking it's a really good thing. I don't know if we can fix that at this age. <laughs> yeah, everyone, Tone this is what down. I want everyone to do. Make a comment. How old do you think my kids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 35. We're just going to clarify oh, it. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, come on. That's... Well, that's over half of our age, so right. yeah, he's doing great. Well, thanks for watching.